Edam, Dutch, Edamer, EDMR, is a semi-hard cheese that originated in the Netherlands and is named after the town of Edam in the province of North Holland. Edam is traditionally sold in rounded cylinders with a pale yellow interior and a coat or rind of red paraffin wax. Edam ages and travels well and does not spoil; it only hardens. These qualities, among others, made it the world's most popular cheese between the 14th and 18th centuries, both at sea and in remote colonies. A major producer of Edam is the Friesland Campina Company in Marum, the Netherlands. In the U.S., the May Bud brand is sold by the Cherny Company, a subsidiary of Kraft Foods. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Content. Most young Edam cheese sold in stores has a very mild flavor, slightly salty or nutty, and almost no smell when compared to other cheeses. As the cheese ages, its flavor sharpens, and it becomes firmer. It has a significantly lower fat content than many other traditional cheeses. Edam may have as little as 28% fat in dry matter. Modern Edam is softer than other cheeses, such as cheddar, due to its low fat content. However, it is not quite as suitable for toasting as are certain other cheeses, such as cheddar. Accompaniments Mild Edam goes well with fruit such as peaches, melons, apricots, and cherries. Aged Edam is often eaten with traditional cheese fruits, like pears and apples. Like most cheeses, it is commonly eaten on crackers and bread, and may be eaten with crackers following the main course of a meal as a dessert of cheese and biscuits. Pinot Gris, dry Riesling, semi-dry Riesling, sparkling wine, Chardonnay, and Shiraz, Syrah are some recommended wines to accompany this cheese. <laughs> Popularity Edam cheese is popular in North America, the Nordic countries, and many other countries around the world. In the Maghreb region, it is commonly known as red cheese. Topic: <laughs> Spain and former colonies. In Spain and some of its former colonies, such as the Philippines and many Latin American countries, the cheese is known as queso de bola ball cheese and was long considered a delicacy. In the Mexican state of Yucatán, queso de bola is prepared as queso relleno stuffed cheese. A ball of cheese is cut in half and carved out, it is then stuffed with a mixture seasoned ground meat, raisins, capers, and olives. Finally, it is braised in chicken stock, and served sliced with the chicken stock that has been thickened with cornstarch and spiced tomato sauce. Czech Republic It is the most common cheese used in Czech Republic usually sold under name item and also very often used as base of the snack smazany sir, which is popular in the country and in neighboring Slovakia Slovak, syr, where it may be served with a slice of ham Slovak, sosunku, and always with tartar sauce tatarska omaka or mayonnaise. Belize. <inaudible> <inaudible> In Belize, where it was once one of the few commercially available cheeses, it may also be known as queso de calavera or queso de colorado, and usually eaten when well aged and sharp, commonly with bread and coffee. <laughs> Philippines In the Philippines, queso de bola is popular during Christmas in the Philippines, when Filipinos feast with family and friends. It is customarily served with jamon and pan de sal during the Noche Buena, the traditional feast taken around midnight of Christmas Eve and lasting until the early hours of Christmas Day. Sweden The cheese is also associated with Christmas in Sweden due to its red color, and is often found on the Christmas Jewelboard Buffet. Topic in popular culture Edam has been treated dramatically and humorously in a variety of cultural art forms. In the novel All Quiet on the Western Front, the main character believes its red outer covering is a sign of impending death. 
It is a wine flavor nuance in Sideways and an object of desire in the animated film Shopper 13. The book title East of Edam, a playful take on East of Eden by John Steinbeck, appears in the film Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were Rabbit. Edam is a Syria comic pivot in the Australian film Three Dollars. Actor Jason Fleming advertised Edam in the UK. Edam was tested by the Mythbusters in episode 128 for its putative suitability as cannon ammunition against a ship's sail, but it bounced off the sail without damaging it. See also List of cheeses Babybel <laughs>